Hello, hello, welcome back to another episode of Imperion Galactic Survival. We are actually going to be leaving that there because you guys should have some O2 bottles for me. And I will take those for our base. Now we are now heading back to... Uh, by the way, I did figure out where the information for the uh, the, the place and thing is, the, the planet information. There, There's two tabs up here, one for map markers, one for planet info. Uh, so we have found a 9 out of 14, I think, iron deposits? Yep. 6 out of 12 cobalt, 5 out of 11 copper, 6 out of 9 silicon, 5 out of 12 promothium, and 3 out of 13 for magnesium. Uh, we can get meteorites here, so like once all these deposits are gone, uh, we can get meteorites to happen uh, randomly on the uh, planet when iron and cobalt have been depleted. So we can actually continuously get iron and cobalt. Uh, it's very, very useful for that. So, if you're ever playing this game and wondering about infinite resources, it is indeed possible. Uh, they offer node regeneration in multiplayer worlds, which we will definitely be doing. Uh, well, well, we'll be doing the, the node regeneration if I ever do multiplayer on this game. So, uh, we won't have to worry about resources, hopefully, ever. Now, this game is more meant to be multiplayer base instead of single player, but this game is actually pretty good still single player. Uh, there's a lot going on still with it. A lot of the quest lines, however, that are giving us gold coins and like credits and stuff like that, in that form, uh, those are designed for like trading posts and whatnot so you can actually buy items from other people uh, with the in-game uh, credit currency. Now, we'll, we'll get to some of those trading posts later on. Where am I going? I don't... I don't even know. Uh, we'll get to the trading post later on. Now, they did add uh, some NPCs, I believe, to the trading posts and some trading stations uh, that you can find throughout the worlds that you can trade with, so even in single player that there is a bit of a trade available. Uh, however, I don't know uh, what all they offer, so we will have to kind of play it by ear, I guess, on that. Oops. What's our food doing? 435 out of 500? Not too bad. Let's see about getting back to our base though, and with that power relay coil, we might be able to start work on maybe an auto miner tier 1? Though I might have to be a certain level for that. I don't recall. Alright, are we going in the right direction? More or less. We'll be able to see opportunity here in a moment, I believe. Oh, there it is. Alright. On our way to opportunity. Gonna go into the place and live our life forever until we die. Oh. Don't know how I just did that, but I like it. I liked it a lot. I'd like to do it again, please. Okay. Uh. That's right, inventory's full. What happens when your inventory's full? You just drop stuff. You drop stuff like no tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to put more fuel in there just so we fill that up. Uh, this base isn't using a whole lot of power to begin with, but I, I'd rather honestly just not have to worry about it at all, so. It's uh, staying in there, and what was that? I think that's an enemy out there. Uh, speaking of, we could actually do uh, Not Afraid of the Dark Akua. Since it is becoming nighttime again. But uh, before we do that, I do need to get rid of some of this stuff out of my inventory. Or perhaps, you know what else we could do? Uh, Huntsman Akua. Yeah, because you are raptors. Hmm. Ow. Hmm. Killing enemies, by the way, gives you a lot of XP as well. So, oh, you guys are attacking this steel plate I'm on.
Okay. Y'all are dead. How does that make you feel? You insignificant bastards. There's four. What? Yeah, there was. Alright, got nine meat, so we should be good to go on food for a bit. Let's go ahead and put this meat in there, actually, and start it making. Uh, silicon, uh, that stuff, and all this can go in there as well. Uh, along with the various other stuff that we picked up, a lot of this is actually materials for more complex devices, so we'll be able to use that to get going here. Uh, do we have access to the constructor yet? A large constructor, we do. Okay, so this can be used on a capital vessel on a base. It's 2x2x2. Two by two by two. Energy in, 250 kilowatts. I don't know if our small opportunity base here allows that. But we'll have it available if needed. Uh, we have a lot more ammo available to us now as well. Which is good. Uh, as well as a bit of food. So a large constructor needs two computers. Which is under here. Two computers, um, five electronics. Do we have one of electronics? I never do. So five electronics and uh, ten metal components. Okay, those are metal pieces, metal components. Ten, ten of these. Oh, oh, turn off. Uh, makes two each. Okay, so we only need a two, four, uh, Six, eight, ten. Turn it back on. Get these parts. And now we can make our large constructor. Large constructor is wonderful. Um, it, it, it's uh, crafting. It's going to craft a lot faster than survival a constructor does, uh, as well as allow us to actually put in like, say, I wanted to craft another large constructor. Uh, but I didn't have like the electronics crafted up or the computers like we didn't here uh, It would do it for us Which is very 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 useful uh, So we don't have to worry about it as much We can just put the ore in and click on something when we have all the requirements for it and it'll just build it straight out No worrying whatsoever uh, I will have this start processing some more stuff though for materials if we need it uh, along with a bit of a hiccup, apparently. Alright, large constructor. I don't know if you can actually fit in here, can you? You cannot. Alrighty, so this multi-tool. Uh, we are going to use that to our advantage, hopefully. By getting rid of some of this stuff in here. Wait. That we should actually be repairing. I think we can actually fit that in here now. No empty space to place block. It's because of this damn light. It is. Okay, good. We have that available to us now. Uh, we have one steel block large that we can place down. We need a few others. Steel blocks destroyed, huh? Okay, there is a bit of a base mechanic in this game uh, in terms of what is uh, sound for a structure. Like, this is probably not that sound, right? Whoops. That was not the weapon I meant to be using. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and just put some wood blocks in here. And to get a little bit of a support down here. And fall off our staircase. So we expanded our base just a smidgen for us to have this large constructor down. And I think I had a few things on my inventory, actually, didn't I, that needed to be put away into the fridge. Uh, but now this constructor will allow us to be able to build all that stuff again without worrying about it too much. Uh, yeah, I do have some stuff on me that needs to be put away because expiring. Parish timers, sensor and signal blocks. Uh, this is new, by the way. Sensor and signal blocks are completely new. We'll have to look into that. And oh yeah, here's those uh, gold coins to convert in credits. Place it into the ATM deposit slot, which we have not found yet. And we have 15 of these. So 15 times 50. 
what 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 is that? Seven hundred and fifty credits, I believe. Is what we have available to us in there and kind of anyway. Alright. So five hundred millimeter bullets is going to be very beneficial for us here. We are going to need to craft more up. But uh, I would like to take all this stuff out now. As the survival constructor will get to stay here, I'm going to disable it being shown on the map. It will just kind of exist at this point in time. And we are going to move all this stuff into the better constructor. Uh, truss blocks, L, steel blocks. I don't know if we can do anything with those steel blocks. Like, I don't know if we can melt them down at all or not. I'm hoping we can, but if we can't, I guess I'll just be trashing them. Uh, I believe there's a spot for that anyways. Uh, let's see, anything else that we can put in here right now? Doesn't seem like it. Alright. Let's see about getting rid of that block, and... I think that's gonna be it for us in terms of getting rid of some of these random garbage. Like, we don't need that. I don't think. Well, I guess I'll know if the building collapses on us, yeah? Ah. That leads us to the outside world. Cool, cool. Cool. I'll go ahead and pass on that, then. Alright, I would also like to be able to encompass this stuff here into the actual base. Just kind of work with what I have available to me. Which, uh, truth be told, is not a whole lot, honestly. Not a whole lot at all. I, I really gotta stop pressing one for that. Okay, good, good, good. What else do we have? Five steel blocks. I'll go ahead and just place these down for the time being. Minor repairs are better than no repairs, I believe. We'll go ahead and put a double window here, because we can. Because why not? Uh, we have a, a, a switch... God damn it! Uh, a lever switch. There, it's part of the sensor and signal blocks group, makes sense. Uh, anything else here that we can grab? Maybe that? Okay. So I got four, nope, three spots here that I need to repair. Using a bit nicer of a lock material. Uh, let's go ahead and grab that wall out of that. Go ahead and rotate it into place. Um, oh, that's actually on this side. Question, is that door where I think it is? Or not? Okay, it is not where I thought it was. Let's go ahead and flip this catwalk underneath so it's on the bottom or the top of the uh, block below. Uh, that way we can go ahead and grab. Eh, sure, why not? The steel block, make it at a wall. Put it there, that we have a bit closer edge to the actual door here. And let's see. I'm actually glad we found a uh, multi-tool. It's proving to be very, very useful. We're going to close that up like that. Okay. So, outside of our large gaping hole that we have on this side, we are a lot more protected. 
And our base has been expanded just a bit. It's not terribly great, but we have access to everything within the building now. Uh, which is definitely a good goal. Uh, and I think I will have to use maybe a couple of these broken blocks. Okay, that's a destroyed wall. Hmm. Not that I'm a big fan of that, but... I think I'd mother, m much rather have uh, something there than nothing at the moment. Uh, oh, we also need to put something here. Let's go ahead and put that there for now. We need to get some additional building blocks for us, so I'm going to make some concrete here. It's really, really cheap. Uh, take cement, cement takes rock dust, rock dust takes uh, crushed stone. Crushed stone is what we were mining to get to some of the ores in the first episode. So, very, very helpful stuff. With these concrete blocks, we'll actually be able to take this destroyed bit out along with that. And uh, craft us uh, a better looking home is the goal, anyway. Uh, I think I'll keep with the look. Hmm? Damn it! Keep shooting things, <laughs> wasting ammo. Uh, da -da -da. may as well replace that as well. Alright. Oh god. Yep. Things have uh, physics to them. Good example of physics. Alright. Trimmed up our front. We'll have to spend some more time working on a base, but uh, I think we need to get some more materials. I, I, I believe we need to get more materials anyway. Uh, because the roof here is not 100% complete. Let's see, can I... Whoops. Uh, I would like to page up there. Mm. Damn it. Wow, concrete blocks have 600 HP. Since when? Since when? I recall them having that much HP. Well, we're getting there. Uh, a bit more will be lovely on the concrete here. Ooh. Just about done with some much needed base repairs. Much, much needed. Alright, and that's that block, of course. You can tell I kind of played this game enough to recognize my blocks, at least, I hope. Uh, though, I'm going to actually take these out and copy that design on this side. There we go. Alright. It's a lot more out of the way. Looking a lot, lot cleaner up here. A lot, a lot cleaner. That's a problem. 
A uh, little bit of a dirty hole on the outside, but I think we should be good for now. We got cover. There's a few spots I could probably take out and replace, but uh, we'll have to do that another time. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, and until uh, the next one, take it easy.